lost to. Hey friends, how are you? I am adjusting um, and I didn't know if I was going to have sound because for some reason I was recording and decided to stop because I kept tripping over all of my words and I went back and rewatched it as a test and you couldn't hear me. So I'm hoping you can hear me. Or you won't see this because I will re-record it. <laughs> Hi. How are you? I am Julie, Julie and Stitches, Julie and Stitches 16 here on YouTube and on the Instagram. Uh, this is a floss tube, which is a channel, a little corner of the YouTube world where we talk primarily about cross stitch. Um, I also have some other hobbies that I throw in from time to time, which include crochet, knitting, and sewing. I have some exciting news on the sewing front. Um, maybe, maybe next time you'll hear if I do it for sure. Um, but I am trying to, you know, my mom's not getting any younger and she's the family seamstress. So somebody's going to have to take on those duties. So I might as well get, you know, a better machine and learn and hone my sewing skills. I would also like to quilt. Anyways, we got a lot to talk about today, so I will not babble too much. I have missed bird babble. I don't have any fun facts for you to share. I did not prepare that much today, but I did have four species of um, woodpeckers out in my yard today. Hi, Luna. Say hi, Luna. Okay, Luna. Thank you. And there's Ringo. And there's Lucy. <laughs> um, four species of woodpecker, four different species of woodpecker all at the same time. A peleated, a hairy, a downy, and a redheaded. So that was fun to see them all sharing. Not that I don't have plenty of feeders where they can all have their own. Um, what am I wearing? Well, I am wearing a Beatles shirt to let you know that Stephanie and I from Cross Stitch the Globe settled on a hashtag for our um, Magical Mystery Tour Blackbird Design Series Stitch Along. So hashtag fab for sal will launch on February 13th. So get out those Magical Mystery Tour Blackbird Designs Beatles design. They are Beatles. They're all influenced and made for the Beatles, for her Barb's love of the Beatles, from what I've been told and read. Um, get them out and join us. And really, I don't know, Stephanie, if you'd agree with this, but any Beatles, and I forgot to take the one down that I was going to show you, but Stitchman Darcy, who, if you have not watched and, and or enjoyed on Floss Tube, please go watch him. He is hilarious. Grab some Kleenex because you will be laughing and cry, laughing to cry. Um, he has designed um, the one that I have done that I'm looking at, and not showing you, is called. <laughs> I can put a picture here. It's weird not to be weird. A quote, quote from John Lennon, which I agree. Um, he also did a Strawberry Fields, which is the pattern that Stephanie will be starting and I will be continuing because, full disclosure, I already had it started. Um, he has a, a really cool one. He has a, a, a bunch of other cool designs and he's gotten into the fabric dyeing business. Um, he does lower count Adas, so if you're into that, go check him out. He has, um, he has an Etsy shop, too. Um, so yes, I'm wearing the Beatles in honor of our launch of our official hashtag, hashtag fab for fan sal. Um, okay, next, errata. I have an errata. Um, I left out a whip in my whip parade and I felt horrible. So cross stitch the globe again. Um, did a tutorial video on stitching with waste canvas onto canvas and or stitching onto canvas and I was like yeah I've done that and then I was like oh my gosh I left that out of my whip parade because it is still a whip so 
continuation of whip for Julie's 2023 whip parade or 2024 because really I just do them at the beginning of the year so we'll just call it the year that it's in this is Revenge Orca by the awesome Deanna Darling and Whimsy who did this as a fundraiser quirky Quaker if we can get focusing to work today and this is being done on a canvas bag so the best that I could measure after stitching, and there are mistakes so plenty, and guess what? I went forward. I did not go backwards. I fudging the H E double hockey sticks out of this one. Um this is about an 80 count. So this is like stitch stitching over two is like stitching over one on 40 count. So as you can see, it's pretty tiny, but I love it. And I think if I can tolerate this and see it better and not make so many mistakes, I want to maybe cover this in Quirky Quakers. Just an idea. You will see that I resorted to using a hoop, even though I, if you've been here, I am an in-hand stitcher, but I, this required some stretching to see these holes a little bit better because this canvas material is very tightly woven and these old eyes needed some help. Although I was just chatting with my friend Jerrica, Daybreak Stitcher, who taught me, um, <laughs> very kindly sent me pictures of some eye exercises that she does and I am going to attempt to do those every day because my eye doctor to tell me that I have some uh, and I've known this for a really long time I have focusing issues um, I in fact went to physical therapy for my eyes in college that was a very long time ago and I would not remember any of those exercises so thank you my dear friend Jerrica very much I will be trying them I'll work it into my routine every day um, housekeeping Motif a week sales going strong. Some pe other people have joined me. Yay! And Emmy Mission Stitch on YouTube and on Instagram has joined me in doing And a Forest Grew. And in fact, she's so into it. She's done like multiple motifs a week. And there's no rules. You, you do you. And she's even talking about like a rotation. I think I have my next one picked out. If I can get and a four screw done, I will work. I think my next one will be a highly motif heavy pattern will be my um, Enchanted Forest by Owl Forest Embroidery. Because I'm really kind of liking it. I uh, do it on Mondays. I try to just get it done, cross it off in my cross stitch journal. And be done for the week and there are some days that I I find myself drawn to it more because I'm not overwhelmed by it and I'm seeing progress and it's making me happy um, CCC with Julie sale my birthday sale you can join anytime just as a reminder a cause a culture or a community that you are passionate about and find a designer that's also passionate about that cause, a member of that culture, or a member of that community. So there's a plethora of wonderful choices out there. Um, who, oh, well, Jarek is doing the Tree of Life with me. Um, somebody else was doing one of Miriam's patterns, Miriam Marumi Design. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm... S memory. Memories. Um, I went to a EGA Zoom meeting uh, every other month on a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning. Saturday morning. The Embroiderers Guild of America. I'm part of the chapter in Madison, Wisconsin right now, which is still about an hour and a half from me, so I don't get to do a lot of the in-person thing, but they do, in the wintertime especially... They have the meetings via Zoom, and they have a session on a Saturday every other month called Get That Darn Thing Done. <laughs> I'm like, well, I got plenty of things to get that darn thing done. So when I entered and I met everybody, and they were very nice and kind, 
they all told me that I need to pick a project that I work on every time that we meet for Get That Darn Thing Done. So I did. I picked Anzac from Long Dog Sampler because I thought, what a better, large, grueling project. I had kind of gotten off by a half a stitch somewhere in that pattern. So during the three hours that we were meeting, I figured that out and moving on. Um, so you will see Anzac at least every other month as um, hopefully with some progress when I go get that darn thing done. Um, for free for me, I do have some free for me today. I do, I do. Yay. So first and foremost, Deanna, darling and whimsy. We know her, we love her. Quirky Quaker watermelon that she designed in support of the atrocities and genocide happening in Palestine in the Gaza Strip. Um, just gave it for free for people to stitch to scream. Um, she, no fundraising, no, just her contribution to the cross-stitch community for us to stitch our feelings. Um, and it is super cute. I've seen it done a few times already because people are Johnny on the spot. Um, <laughs> I plan to do that soon and probably on that canvas bag because her other Revenge Orca was also a fundraiser, I believe, for cleaning up the oceans. Oh, I can't remember. But under the Orca, it says Sink the Rich. For free for me from Jardin Privé. What? I found this right before my birthday and I almost had two birthday starts um, because if you've been here... And if you haven't, I love peace. I love peace signs. Um, I'm all about peace. Because <laughs> there's nothing better than peace in the world. Look at how cute. So you can find the... Oh, you can find Deanna. Go find her on Instagram. And I believe that she has a link tree that will take you to her website to download that. This one is on Jardin Privé's website. Um, a free download. And it is awesome and I can't wait to put my own spin on the colors um, I love that it screams spring because I'm ready whenever you are Wisconsin although we're kind of having a February spring right now it, we had like over a foot of snow and now it's melting because we've had rain for five days and it's been 35 to 40 degrees and as much as I appreciate the cold and the snow going away, I do not appreciate, appreciate that the drastic change in barometric pressures have on my migraines and my sinuses. So, floss tube nose compounded by a drippy nose today. Mm. Go ahead, get up there, Luna. Luna has a new seat in the window so she can watch the birds and not sit on my desk all day. She quite enjoys it. But right now she's going to quite enjoy being in the camera for you guys to see and appreciate. Um, we did the sale. Okay. New floss tubes. New to me. And one new to floss tube. Well, both are new to floss tube, actually. I think both of these um, individuals have two episodes. Three. Two. One. <laughs> two episodes. Um, first one is Tartans and Threads. Katrina, I met her at the Jingle Ball and she is absolutely a awesome person. Um, she lives in Australia. Um, her first floss tube is a whip parade, so I know it's still pretty good. You know, we're all in, into whip parades. They're still not done. So go check her out. She has beautiful projects. She stitches on a variety of things. The other one is CCL Stitches, Kayleen. I, okay, so many things in common. I was like, yep, me, yep, that's me. She's a nurse. She, I, there were so many things, um, but she's, she's a hoot. She's very energetic. Um, she's fun to watch and beautiful stitching she does. She likes a lot of big projects. Um, Mirabilia's, that sort of thing. Um, but still something for everyone. So go check her out. Um, 
few of my favorite things. Today, my favorite stitchy thing. I gotta find words. It's not even the afternoon yet. Maybe water will help. My favorite stitchy thing today <laughs> to, to present to you, my dear friends, is related to my other hashtag um, that I'm working very hard to and this month I was, I've been doing exceptionally well, is hashtag free the floss. Get, get, get your flosses out of all of these projects. So either by finishing the project or in this case, by coming up with a creative way to keep flosses in your projects. So we all know it. We all love it. Adam Hart floss straps. Well, a lot of people do it. And if you haven't been introduced to Adam Hart Floss Shots yet, here you go. So this is one of their blendable floss straps. So um, created with the intent, I do assume, um, that you keep the two colors that you need to blend in a pattern when it calls for a blended color. However, I got a little creative and said, what if, what if, instead of using them for blendable colors, I store two separate threads, two separate colors on these floss straps to utilize in a project. So the reason why this probably works well for me and we're still in the experiment phase of this uh, scientific method we, we the hypothesis was done and now we're experimenting um, I work a lot on higher counts uh, 40 46 56 meaning I do not have to have the entire skein of floss to finish a project, I can simply pull out one or two strands of the, you know, the six stranded strands, six stranded strands. Okay. Everybody knows what I'm talking about, right? And if you don't, floss is generally, most flosses, there are some 12 stranded flosses in a strand of floss, there's six strands of floss. <laughs> It was probably not the best way. I'm sorry if you're new to confuse you. So anyways, for higher counts, you don't need a whole skein. You, you need sometimes less than one six-stranded strand. How many times can we say strand? Do we, I say a word too many times. It feels like it doesn't have meaning anymore. So I pulled off... So this was for the project Vad Vadjanoe, Vadjanoe, the Slavic Swamp Man by Stinchy Princess Black. I was stitching this for Allison from Cross Stitch the Globe, her birthday sale, which was hashtag princess birthday sale. You can still join in on that too. You would make her very happy. I was doing this. I am doing it. No, I was. It's finished. It's one of my finishes. Um, I was doing this on 22 count Ada, so pretty high count, right? So I knew that I was not going to need to put the entire skein of floss into the bag. So there's my finish. Oh, please focus today. Pulled it in front of my face. There you go. Um, and really, the only color that I ended up needing more than one strand where it was this dark green in the leaves. I had to pull another one off. So here's my thought. Get your colors. You can, I just use these little um, circular tags, if you will. And where the side that the tag is on, I make the hump when I strand on the floss. So this hump is for charcoal, and this hump 
or this home, sorry, is for Frankenstein. Frankenstein? Frankenstein. These are all Mohs sale silk, by the way. So there you can see the hump, right? There's always a hump on the side where we, or whatever, on our floss straps. And this is if you're a floss strapper. So I pulled what I thought I needed. Now, I did have to go back for evergreen, that dark green. So what I did was I said, oh, here's my master, if you will. I will get another strand of evergreen. But then this is all available for me to have for other projects. Now, if you're doing something big, obviously, you're going to want to put the whole skein in there. But if you're doing something small or on a higher count, then free the floss. Free the floss. So it did work for me for this project. Now, if I were to go, if I were going to a retreat or a stitchy day and I wanted to make sure I had enough floss, I may just pull the colors um, and have the entire skein in there. But I really loved this idea. And then when I'm done, now I'm done with this project, I've shown you all. It's, it's a finish. I need to fully finish it somehow. I will take these strands, put them back with their masters, put them back with their masters, and take these little stickers off and reuse these, reuse these uh, for a different project. Free the floss. So it worked. And there's an idea. There's an idea for you. Adam Hart floss drops. And I know, you know, and I'm sure there's other places you can get these, but I thought they were perfect. And I just get the her seconds or whatever they're called in bulk because I have been trying to put like all my silks, my fancier like on if they don't come with their own type of floss drop card that's substantial like Mo she has hers wound and skeins with a little label then I've been trying to floss drop them and put them into Notion as I do so. I am on a mission this year we might as well segue into that called Julie get your poop together except she didn't say poop she said the s word S dash 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 word. <laughs> Get your sh together. Organize. Um, I had my husband help me hang some like shower bars, uh, towel bars, shower bars. Well, they're in your shower sometimes. I don't know. Towel bars. I'm <laughs> like, you can see them. Next time I'll show a picture um, so that I can hang my floss on the floss rings across them so it's all out in the open and I'm getting it out of drawers and nooks and crannies and sh bags so I can see it. Also the no buy till July, whoa. When you get everything out in the open, I was telling the girls this morning and you look at it, holy Moses, holy floss Batman. Like, I don't need to buy anything ever again. <laughs> Especially when I stitch on higher counts. I free the floss. Like, yeah. I got a lot. I got a lot. I got a lot. Okay. Plans. Not a big planner. Um, I do whip go. I don't set very strenuous goals because I like to stitch on what I want when I want and I like to I if I'm kind of a rule rebel <laughs> always have been if I have too many rules even for myself I'll try to find a way to break them <laughs> so whip go definitely still I just put whatever amount of time I don't like mo for heavy motif projects my whip go board says a motif a week which is doable. Um, sales, I'm keeping myself open for. I've had very minimal new starts. Oh, you guys will see that. Very minimal for me. Um, there was a barrage of them at the end of December or and the first day of January, and now I've kind of restrained myself. I've done very good, but I am leaving myself open to because like they're fine frog stitching 
is doing a sale, I think in March, um, it launches called Fungi and Femurs. Fungi and Femurs? You had me at Fungi and you had me at fungi and held on to me with femurs. I love mushrooms and I'm a nurse. So you're going to put anatomy and mushrooms together. I cannot wait to see what this is. Um, so yeah, well, yeah, I'm doing that one. Um, I am flirting with the idea as suggested by more than one friend, um, in our great community of doing 50 bird starts and finishes and or finishes I'm gonna say and or finishes for my 50th birthday which is 2025 birds all the birds 50 sounds good so yeah other than that I went to my first primitive gatherings cross stitch club day and got to meet the fabulous um Jamie and Chris from the Pink Stitchers who were super nice and um, took my hand and showed me as a first timer um, the routine of the day and introduced me to people. Um, Dot Dot Goose was there. She makes fabulous bags. She has a floss tube. If you haven't, please go check her out. And if you haven't watched the Pink Stitchers, like, go watch the pig stitchers please um super nice um we laughed we chatted it felt like we had known each other forever um and they enabled me a little bit it was my birthday so i do have some haul but it was my birthday um so it doesn't go against the no buy there is a clause in the contract um <clears throat> i'm looking forward to going back and partaking in more stitchy days with them we we stitched a little bit that day. Unbelievably, we did stitch a little bit that day. <laughs> Thank you again, ladies. It was such an enjoyable time. And yes, now I am a member of the cult. I'm, I'm in the cult. I'm officially a cult member. I'm drinking the Kool-Aid. All right. Okay, let's see some stitching, shall we? We're 27 minutes in. Well, you saw a little bit, right? Finishes. I have finishes. I have finish itis. Sometimes we have start itis. No, I am like, let's go. Finish. Finish itis. Oh yeah, no jerk today. He's back at college. I thought maybe he'd come home today and he could have a special appearance, but he didn't. Or he hasn't so far. I don't know. Maybe he'll surprise us. All right. So first is... Oh, I have these out of order. Well, wouldn't be a normal Julie Floss dude if I didn't have something that's out of order. Stitch for Pride 2024, of course, by the amazing and fabulous D. These 20 stitches, your stitch dad and mine. This was January's. Um, spotlight artist was Keith Herring. Um, so D designed this. Um, as an homage to Keith's artwork. They are doing an educational piece and a stitching piece every month for us to um, educate ourselves and to stitch. So I finished that. I started on one two and finished on one three. So it did not take very long. And there is my so I am going to count each month as a finish because, well, I make the rules. But it is a year long. It's a year long, but every month is a finish. So nice. Um, next is Always Forward, a pattern by Mrs. Flossie that I acquired and um, during my visit to the attic in Mesa, Arizona in early December. The attic. Oh, I'll talk more about that. Um, and here is my finish. This was done on 56 count. I want YouTube to get just one time, get a good screenshot of me. 56 count Duxbury by Fox and Rabbit. 
um, using Tudor silk. So one over two. And you guys, look how teeny tiny my name is. So she has Jean Lee's name from the attic on the design. Because this is also Jean's mantra. But I just substituted it with mine and then the year I finished it. Primitive Gatherings is going to have a finishing workshop uh, soon-ish, I think, for a couple days. And I'm really hoping that my schedule works out where I can join that because I need, I need some finishing ideas and instruction. That would be fantastic. So I finished that on 113. Then on 120, I finished... The one, the only Jacob modern, modern folk embroidery. This is a free pad uh, for free for me and for you pattern on his website. So go get it if you'd like to stitch it. And I think that everybody should because we should all live by these words. Let's be kind. I did a purple on purple, so this fit fit with um and um Marjorie Maid's pick a whip. When she picked Stitch Your Favorite Color, purple on purple. I Purple's pretty much my favorite color. I do enjoy me some blues. Blue's always been my favorite color. So purples and blues, both. Um, this is on x Design Designs 20 Count Ada in the colorway Lavender Fields. And that variegated purple silk is Moe's sale silk in the colorway Tyrion. Moe does have a Etsy, SD, on the SD, an Etsy store now, but the, a lot of her one-offs that she does on Saturday mornings, I don't know how many have been on there. I'm trying not to look at Etsy right now. Because also, as we were talking about this morning, and Miriam mentioned in our group chat, they just keep tempting you with, like, new dyers and new fabric dyers. Every time if you log on, I'm like, yeah, I can't. That's why I can't look. Well, I can look. I can put things in my cart. I just can't hit buy. Okay. My next finish. Oh, my next finish. My second oldest whip. I gotta check that to be sure. Although my first oldest whip is from 1990 or 91, but this was my second oldest whip, and I just flipped there, and then I didn't look at the date. So I started this 1822. So two years later, two years later, uh, I finished A Perfect World. Let me show you the pattern, shall I? I have everything kind of in one bag so that I can just pull it out. So this is a, a Perfect World by the Scarlet House. Love the sentiment on this because it is was my lifetime goal. And now I live with the birds and the flowers and the dogs and the deer. So I did not do as I have explained before, the bottom. See, I need Jarek to hold my stuff. I did not do the bottom. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the flowers down there, and I just wanted to be done. So I'm done. I'm done. And I believe that I am going to make this into a pillow for my couch. I did change things up. I changed the color of the flowers. Instead of a blackbird on this tree, I made a female cardinal. Um, and all of the dogs are representative of dogs in my life now or in my past.
pattern, which will then go to Tara next, and then Miriam, and then Julie. And then we'll send them all back to each other. Finished. And we each got to stitch on an ink circles pattern, and we're doing four different ones. So we'll each get to stitch on one, and that's fun. That's what I wanted to say about that. That's fun. I am using two Night Stalkers Calling thread wave, uh, colorways, Evergreen and Blood Moon, and then a Mosail Silk in Charcoal. I almost changed that, but I resisted the urge. Okay, this is going to go down here so that I can pack it up and go to the post office tomorrow. Okay, new starts. On 1-1, one, one, I started, I laugh because I know you guys will just laugh with me. I started the Chaturi's Journal. So this was a multitude of Chaturi's, traditional Chaturi's stitching put together by X Maya. Get my card. X Masri um, is the designer on Instagram. The, you can find this on the Tirazane Initiative. Um, I am doing this on a 56 count, just a white antique white bergen linen, and I am now using three colors of Tudor silk. So you will look at this and say, I gotta remember which way is up. This way is up. You will look at this and say, but Julie, you have all these in. I've been doing a motif a day and I've been, or a section of the border, which the border is now complete. So it will be a different colors. I am now going to pull those out because what to my wondering eyes should appear on the Instagram, but somebody that stitched like the outside motifs in black and then the next row in green and then another row in red going inward. And it was beautiful. And it rep is representative of the Palestinian flag. So uh, yesterday I started pulling out some motifs and replacing them on the outside with black. I am where there's two colors called for in some of the motifs or three. I'm going to put a green or a red. And when I get to the green, I'll put a red or a black. Just because I still wanted some of that variegation in the motifs um, and not a solid color where it calls for too, like this bird. Because I was just kind of picking from my either Swasserfiends or Tudor Silks or Finder Silks that I have and I wasn't really digging a lot of the colors. So now I'm going to be happy. So I'm still going to stitch my motif a day and pull one out. Stitch, pull one out. And there's 330 motifs, so I have um, the rest of the year. I'll still be okay. I'll still be okay. So that was on 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. On 1-2, one, I started Stitch for Pride. You saw that. I'm done. On 1-6. For Allison's birthday, Prince, hashtag Princess Birthday Sally started Slavic Swamp Man. I'm done. Done. It feels so good. Um, on 114, which is, was actually 115. <laughs> Sarah from Mod Cross, please go watch and support Sarah. She is amazing and awesome started a sale for our friend Allison from Cozy Cabin, Cozy Cabin Stitching, the Finding Warmth sale. So this is her pattern. Turn your face to the sun and you will find warmth on the coldest days, um, which I also use as a craftivism to support mental health, especially in the winter when we have a lot of seasonal affective disorder that is that affects us all. Well, a lot of us negatively, right? Okay, so I started this on the 14th because even though Sarah was starting it on the 15th, so that I could start my birthday sale on the 15th, my birthday was actually the 16th because on the 16th I had to work 
because on the 17th, I went to Cross Stitch Club. <laughs> Did you guys get all that? Did you write it down there? There'll be a quiz later. Okay. So anyway, this is as far as I've gotten. I've pulled this out several times. I just, I did a choose your own adventure for the floss. And this is Mystic Fabric in the colorway Illusion. Yeah, 40 count, I believe. I lost the tag, but I remember the fabric because I pulled it out for several of the projects. And then this one just, I'm like, that's perfect. I'm also using this in um, Mirthful and Frolic from, from that artsy housewife. Finding work. Then on 115 for my birthday on 116, I started The Tree of Life by Yasmin's Made with Love. Thank you again so much, Yasmin. The beautiful pattern. This is in the style of a traditional Polish folk paper cutting wajnaki. I'm probably still not saying that way, right. And that's as far as I've gotten. So Jerrica and I were messaging this morning and she said, I'm going to pull your birthday salad out and work on it. She's also doing Tree of Life in a beautiful variegated silk. So please check out her Instagram. Um, I'm going to work on it a few more days this week, and I'm like, okay, sounds good. Maybe I will, too. I haven't worked on it since I started it. I think I put two stitchy sessions in, and she goes, oh, well, good. I won't feel bad about not finishing in January. <laughs> no, you're not finishing that in January. Nobody is. <laughs> well, maybe somebody is, but not anybody that's normal. Um, yeah, I'll be working on this probably next year for my birthday, too. <laughs> There's birds in it. It can count. So, yes. Um, wonderful. This is Live and Die LA in the colorway in Valor. And that is um, a Silky Box flower silk. In, oh, no, it is not. I was going to use that, and I didn't. Um, this is just white DMC. Blanc. White had the best coverage and the best color. Don't knock DMC, man. Don't knock it. It's perfect. It works. It works. It works. And plus that fabric is so, so beautiful that I wanted that to kind of be the star and let the stitching be its entourage. Does that make sense? Sure does. Okay. Whips. And for screw my mo hashtag motif of the week. And I've been doing it and I'm excited about it and I'm making progress and I feel like I'm putting a dent into this monster. Because it's a big one. It is a BAP. It is a big, awesome project. Big ass project. So this is And for screw by Rosewood Manor, the wonderful Karen Kluba. Um, oh, and I just love it. I have to rechart that middle part, but I think that will be last. So I have, in the first three weeks, well, since my whip parade, I guess, or if you didn't watch, I have pretty much finished all of this. This, 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 and this. It's really hard, as um, Ellie will tell you from Mission Stitch, to pick this up and then just do one motif. So, like, when I did this tree, I did this mouse. <laughs> I did, I had part of this done going into the year and I finished all of it and the owl. When I did this tree, I put in these backstitch birds and these other two birds that were remaining. So I'm really doing more than one motif a week, but I'm do. let's just say I'm doing one big one and then some little ones because there's a lot of little creatures and trees and bushes and what whatnot in this pattern. 46 count antique white bergen linen and all the called for GMCs, which I now know free the floss, right? If I am missing a DMC from my DMC collection, it's here. I show that I show this tangled web of color every time, but it just I mean, this is like a hade. Like, am I doing a hade? No, but am I? Floss wise, yes. Holy floss, Batman. Holy floss, Batman. So if I need a strand 
or two for a project, I can take it from here and not be worried that I'm going to run out for this. Free the floss! Okay, these are going to start going down here because I will have a toppled over. Next, whip from Yalda to Naruz. My friend, your friend, our friend. Fabulous, awesome, magnificent, beautiful Miriam, who is Marumi Designs from Yalda Nehru's, and it's blank. Do I have another one printed out so you can see? Well, okay, so here's the first drop that I will be doing. So that's Yalda. Yes. First snow of the season. Do I have any other ones printed out? No, because I didn't get there yet. I will. You know, Miriam makes designs bountiful borders. Beautiful bountiful borders. Beautiful, but bountiful. So that's where I am. Just working my way around that border. I am going to work down to where that first band goes with the trees um, and then um, start filling it in so I don't get border boredom. Disgruntled Pelican, Night Stalker's Calling, one of my my all-time favorite colorways from them. I have, now that I've organized some of my floss, I did organize Night Stalker's Calling by color, um, and I have several of these. <laughs> and this is a 20-count Ada Bestitch Me in the Colorway Ledger. I love Ledger. Ledger and Cold Foam. Okay, next is Weaver's Birds. This is one of my whip go calls. This was my start for D, um, D's 20 stitches for their birthday in November. Oh, let me show you the pattern. So this is a free pattern on, oh my gosh, I say this every single bit, magicalquilts.com. Um, on their website, it was a sale, 2000 something 2019 I believe I can't remember but it's still free you can go get it um Weaver's Birds and this is where I am so I was able to <laughs> no good way to do this ever I was able to do some more of the border finish that bird and put in this tree um I am going to work on this a few more days. Every night I sit down, I'm like, I'm going to stitch on Weaver's Birds or Yellow Submarine, my other whip go call, which I want to finish before the 13th, before the Fab Four fan sale. Um, and sometimes I'm just too tired. I do my best stitching early, early in the morning. I am an early bird that gets the worm. I'm the early bird that gets the stitches. Oh, this one... This is a piece of Be Stitch Me No Name because I won it on a fight night. And this is the project that I am using Flower Silks in the colorway Jasmine. And I'm loving it. I am loving it. Light, light, and dark aesthetic. I really, really do. Next, one Monday, just one, I worked on just another manning Monday. Pipe Vine Swallowtail, which I started last May for Manning May, Manning May sale, and now kind of try to pull it out on Mondays when I remember that I should, or when Sarah from Mod Cross sings it to me. Sarah, why don't you just call me with that and sing that to me on Monday morning so I remember. This is where I am. So I put in just a few more blocks of colors, I think, on the Monday that I decided to work on it. What am I doing this on, everyone? Number 12 Stitch Co., an ornament cut that she, that I ordered, in, or she sent me with another order, um, 40 count, um, so there's no name, uh, and then I chose my own adventure for the floss. I kind of made it a little more what I felt like to be Southwest, but I think it's working out to be about the same as what I heard. So I didn't, I didn't veer far from the path. I will not get lost in the Grand Canyon. Never to return. Which would suck. That would suck. No 
book at Lost in the Grand Canyon. I have a whole book about that. It's called Over the Edge. If you want to read, go to the Grand Canyon <laughs> first. Don't veer off the paths, especially if you're going down into the canyon. And then at the at the gift shop, buy the book called Over the Edge. And it is about, it's stories about people that have died at the Grand Canyon. <laughs> read it after you go. Go to the Grand Canyon. If you have not seen the Grand Canyon, literally, I cried. I, I, I cried. It is that breathtaking that it just brings out all your emotions. Like, pictures do not do it justice. It is just a magnificent place. Okay, anyways. Anzac. Get that darn thing done uh, for the uh, Embroiderers Guild. Get that darn thing done meeting. Um, gathering. I worked on Anzac by Long Dog and I figured out where my half stitch where I was half a stitch wrong. Don't know what happened or where it happened or why it happened but it happened and I'm not tearing this out. I'm not frogging on this project. I am doing a one and a half stitch all the way across this row to fix it and that's what it's going to be and I don't really think on 46 count right if you guys disagree with me feel free to tell me nicely please 46 count antique white bergen linen and this is using again Night Stalker's Calling in the colorway eat glass Love how that's coming out. I am so close. This might come out soon just because I'm on Finnish, Finnish Island right now. I've been stranded on Finnish Island. Uh, Peppermint and Pine by Brenda Gervais with my needle and thread. I was I am working on the titmouse because it is one of my favorite birds. They're so cute. I love their little mohawks. There he is. So I just have to fill in a couple of the trees and all of those counting, skipping around snowflakes, which is not my favorite thing to do because I'm so scared. But really, does it really matter when you have dog hair or cat hair on your projects? Does it really matter if a snowflake is a stitch off? I say no. I vote no to their snowflakes. Like, who cares? Um, so yeah, I just have those little trees to do and the snowflakes, and then we can call this one good. These, each of these do, let me take it out of the plastic, use some similar colors, so I will not be freeing a lot of floss, and I'm keeping the entire skein in this one because I hadn't devised my master plan or come up with my hypothesis to test my theory. Um... Bad boy and I. The Slavic Swamp Ammo was my first experiment. But I will be keeping the floss because there are similar colors. And I've started picking floss already for the owl. Look at that little next. I love cardinals too. Okay. And now we come to Yellow Submarine. Yellow Submarine. Oh, well, I didn't prepare this one very well. Um, Yellow Submarine, Blackbird Designs part of the Magical Mystery Tour series, which, hashtag fab for fan sale. How many times am I going to mention that in this video? I don't want you to forget. Um, get them out, get them out, let's stitch them. So I would like to be done with this. This is also one of my oldest whips. I would like to be done with this before we embark on February 13th. And it's totally doable. It's totally doable. Because here I am. The submarine is really the bulk of the stitching in this one, and I'm done with it. So I did mess up and put the wrong color on the back, and I don't care. I think it looks fine. I think that it can have yellow tail feathers. <laughs> Submarines have tail feathers. Did you know that? Tail fin? 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 Flames? Mm -mm. Anyways, so yes. I 
this is going to go over by, this is going to go out. This is going to get stitched on tonight. I am going to sit down and watch some football and stitch on Yellow Submarine. You heard it. I said it. Hold me to it. I always do better at something being held to something. Oh, we're almost done. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. My oldest whip. My oldest whip. <laughs> Circa 1990 or 91. I. It was like my sophomore or junior year in high school. Well, both, actually, that we stitched every day in study hall. So it's 90 or 91, people. This is the cheetahs. Oh, let me show you the book and the picture. This is in the Endangered Youngins book by Gloria and Pat. We knew them, we loved them from the 80s and the 90s. And the cheetahs. The cheetah is right here. And I want to stitch all of these still. And I'm, I think I'm going to because why wouldn't I? They are super cute. I finished... I have one of my oldest finishes, so this is from the same time I did finish. I keep it in my journal, I don't know why. The harp seals. Look at how yellow it is. I need to give it a bath. And then I need to put it in a frame, because it's probably one of my very first cross-stitch finishes. Big whatever, ever. Anyways, okay. 14 count ivory ada. I mean... That's all that we could get, ivory or white, um, with the called for DMCs. And when I pulled out of my bobbinated DMCs from the 80s and 90s, I pulled these colors. I'm sure it was the same scheme that I was working off of 33 years ago because they were loose threads that I had pulled and wrapped back around. So that was kind of fun. That was fun. So that's where I am. I have to like color fill the, some of the lighter and then go back with the primary color because I don't know my teenage brain must have been better but it's really hard to keep track because of this full coverage where you are. Um, this would probably if I could learn how to use good notes Jamie <laughs> this would be a, um, a good one to put scan in so that I could highlight and I'm not like spending 10 minutes figuring out where I am. But I did get all of this that you see below the line. I got that in. So my oldest whip ever. And it might be like kind of sad when I finish that. But it needs to be done. It needs to be done. And then I can do another one. And I will probably do them on linen. <laughs> Most definitely do them on linen. Um, Probably still the called for DMCs because it's nostalgic. I like nostalgia. Two left. All right. This I worked on, Hedgerow, at Primitive Gatherings when we were at Cross Stitch Club because the lighting in there was delightful. Oh. Though all the big fluorescent lights in the ceiling in that big room and it was bright and beautiful <laughs> for my old eyes. 56 count. Count. Uh, 56 count what? What may you ask? Seraphim colorway biscuit. And I'm going to do a bunch of the uh, stacks on this um, with the idea of maybe someday having them to make a mobile if I have a, a grand, a grand kid, a grand baby, grand kiddo. Um, so I got all, and I am off somewhere, so I got to remember to go off the green vine. So I really want some good light days so that I can work on this. I started putting one of the hedgehog in, in so that I knew that I had to go off of this green vine because I don't know, I don't know. I'm not going backwards. Forward. Forward. No frogs. No frogs. No frogs. Frog only when necessary. Frogs are only necessary when you can't figure it out. I don't know. I was trying to think of something clever to say. Stellar's Jay. Bird Clush. Bird Clush. Bird Clush Club. Bird Crush Club. 
Lindy stitches. Um, have them all. Have not stitched any, so no time like the present. Have to get. I have to. I mean, they're birds, duh. And I just got her. I'll. I'll show you. Endangered species. Lindy, you got my heart. You have my heart. This is where I am on the Stellar J. I am using a 40 count V Stitch Me in the color Cold Foam. I'm hoping to do several on here. I did order another piece of this. It has not come yet. I think Brandy's a little behind because I have an order from November that I haven't gotten yet. Um, those were before Jerica, Slow Your Roll. Those were before I ordered more of this before December, before January 1st. Um, 40 count, and I am using. A lot of the called for and some like this is Night Stalker's Calling and Sapphire. Um, and that was a thread that I got from Kaylee Tent Stitch in a prize pack that I won from her. So I am using some of my own, you know, putting my own spin on it. And then still some of the called for DMCs. This is also one of my favorite Night Stalker's Calling. This is Sapphire brilliant blues. I kind of want to do um, Long Dog samplers, fish and, fish and chips in this, all in this. I got to finish one Long Dog before I start another. So We'll talk about that in 2030, maybe? 2030? Sound good? Sounds like a plan. Okay. Haul. Investments. Investments. I am trying to buy till July. Clause in the contract includes my birthday. Visits to LNS's. Well, not up, not all the time. Um, and what else? There was another clause. Um retreats. Okay. Sound good? I can't have too many rules, guys. Oh, I'm not showing this yet because I don't want to spoil. Sorry, I was about to ready to show you guys. No. But I cannot wait to show you. By the next time I film, I am sure that everybody will have gotten theirs, and then I will show you. I mean, come on. The designers, first of all, I'm just going to tell you that Miriam's name for her pattern wins my vote for best pattern name ever. 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 It's so, and it's so good. Um, Dee's and Kari's pattern is amazing. They're, they are all amazing, and I will be stitching all of them. The fabric is, and now I'm just teasing you, but... Get the burb box. Get the burb box next year. Don't beat me to it, but get it. Because <laughs> I want it. Okay, I'm not bending anymore. I'm bringing it up. Thanks. I got, oh, my um, fabric of the quarter. I am, and I'm in my subscriptions. I'm not canceling them from. This is going to be so funny, you guys. All my fabric is so funny. Um, gosh darn it, uh, Barefoot Needle Art, yikes, Purple Rain, and it is like the lightest lavender, I don't think the lighting it's doing, yeah, that's a little better, it's gorgeous, for 40 count, 40 count, then, I got uh, the last fight night that I'm participating in for a long time, which was in December. I got Frozen Lake from Be Stitch Me, blue, and pink chocolate, which to me really pulls more purple and lavender than it does pink. But it's gorgeous. <laughs> so I get these in the mail, and I had ordered these from Forbidden Fiber Co. Blue, glass elevator. Willy Wonka and Lavender Fields. So, 
Who likes blue and purple? They only like came on the same day. I'm like, I must have been in the blue and purple. He stitched me fabric of the month from December was this blue moon. I get 46 count. That. White. White on that. Sorry about the glare. White on that. Yeah, yeah. And then XJ, XJ Designs. XJU Designs. Um, I did her fabric of the month again for 2024 because I so enjoyed 2023. What's one less than 2024? Oh, 2023. I've been really into everything like tinier 56 count stitching. So I had signed up for a 46 count club and I'm like, you know, the answer is always no unless you ask. So I sent her a message and said, can I do 56 count? Do you even offer it? And she messaged me back and said, absolutely. So I get 56 count. This is beautiful. What did she call this? My li Oh, this is my little dub. So you, this is actually one of her normal colors. Oh, you know what? This wasn't the club one. I ordered this. <laughs> I ordered this to have, to have, to stitch on, because I like it. It's a nice neutral, like, gray with just a hint of lavender, maybe. And then she kindly sent me this little 56-count um, sample piece called Marbled Terracotta. And I think that that is pretty as well. Um, so where's my club piece? Where'd that go? Oh, it's right here. This, oh, this is Faded Drapple in 56 count. Nice neutral. Not a ton of modeling, but, ooh, you know, that might work um, good for the stacks. The stacks. The stacks as well. And then she always sends a gift thread, and this year her patterns for her club are months by months in Scandi style. So the first one is vintage tulip design. And this little gift thread that will work. This would have been perfect for D's Stitch for Pride. Perfect. Oh wow. It's done. We're good. Moving on. Okay. Oh, Lindy Stitches, Endangered Species. My first one came, it's the Mirror Leopard. I think that I'm going to have to start this soon. I kind of want to keep up because it's every two months. So maybe I can do these this year. I'm like the Bird Crush Club that I'm finally starting a year later. Um, I love that she's doing this. I'm... If you guys have been here before, you know that I'm extremely passionate about wildlife and the earth and the world around us. Um, I ordered some threads from Vera Stitching Corner. I believe she's in Canada. She's on Etsy. Do you think that I would remember what Floss Tuber had some of these that was talking about them and prompted me to try them? No. I can't remember. But they are beautiful. And these feel like you get way more than 10 yards. But I don't know. So I, like, she has a very soft, these are naturally dyed. And they're named after what she uses to dye them. I love anybody that does naturally dyed anything. I just think it's really cool to use plants and the world around us to, um, and not as many synthetic chemicals. So these are the colors. So like this is Coral Rubia. So sh whatever Rubia is. <laughs> there's another one. Oh, Pale Oak. So there's different shades of oak. So I don't know how she's using it. Overcast Tea. So she must have used tea. And that was blurry. So yeah, you get the gist. Um, I have not used them yet. I was waiting to show you, but now I'm going to hang them where I can see them so that I pick them when I am converting because I usually, I rarely stitch called for. Although there are some projects I've been kidding off um, that I'm just using called for. 
um, Moe's. I did her monthly, I subscribed before the year end to her monthly slip club. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? And this for January. She doesn't have a name. It's just called January. I love the way her silk smells. She like I don't know what she does. Perfume, but it is this dynamic, brilliant, variegated purple. Monochrome. I mean, you could do, this is 120 yards, so you can't buy it. I mean, there, you, you could do almost any medical. Okay. I had gotten, I had placed the order from Stitchy Box for more of Jasmine and Bat Orchid. And then she felt so bad because it took so long, like months, actually, that she sent me some gift threads. Here's Jasmine and Bat, Bat Orchid. So I'll never run out of those ever. And then I also got Dionysus's wine, I believe, because I was playing with the idea of doing my birthday stitch on white with red. But then I changed to red with white. And then so they felt bad that it took so long to get my order to me that they sent me some gift silks. So go to Stitchy Box because that was very nice. That was very, very nice. And those are what those are the gift sets. I love this one. Look at the variegation in that one. Look at all the colors. What is that called? Sea glass. Oh, my cousin just brought me some sea glass from Puerto Rico this morning. Um, and then I got quirky Quaker lovebirds. I'm trying to collect all the quirky Quakers. Uh reindeer. And bat. And then I got this fabulous book called uh, Stitchy Bop's Aqua School Motif Pattern Book. And it's really just a book, and they're all patterns, so I can't really show you. I don't think there's pictures of antique motif, um, or motifs from antique Quaker patterns. Um, so you can see a few examples. There's a glare. You know. But th th it's the whole book. So you can kind of make up your own Quaker design and or just stitch little motifs for smalls. You could. You could do that if you wanted to. I'm not going to force you. You can do whatever you want. Alright. While at Primitive Gatherings for my birthday, as one does, I got a few things. First, like I said, dot dot goose. Um, Denise, um, fabulous bag maker, was there. Again, please go check her out. Um, and so she was handing around some of her bags. Denise and Miss Gracie. Denise, is that your doggie? Who's Miss Gracie? Daughter? Want a 10% discount code. Oh, God. So this is a bag that I chose from her basket of bags because bird houses and birds. What's this? Is that a cat or a skunk? Oh, is that a skunk? Oh, it's a squirrel. I mean, squirrels are good too. Yes, very cute. Ball, ball design. I thought it was very, very good. And then in the store. Oh, that's for new, that's for new hobbies. Because, like, I need a new hobby. I do. I need one. Antique birds and cages, which Chris. Uh, from the pink stitchers is already working on I thought oh man I have some variegated glasses that would just be fantastic monochrome smallish quick stitch um, Shakespeare's peddler so I already had heartstring samplery the bird collection one so why not my friends why not get two and three and a four and I hope that's all there is. <laughs> that's all there is. And then I saw this. Elizabeth's Needlework Designs. New to me. But this is copyright 2018. Don't know if they're still around. Antique Beasts and Birds. That is a prayer, I believe. Um, I will change the wording. 
or I may not even put words in it. I may just do, maybe like just do the border in between the rows of animals. Not sure yet, but I loved the animals. Loved them. So there's that. Then, sewing. So, they sell Bernina sewing machines. They have Bernina sewing machines that are traded in. They have new ones. Bernina's are not cheap. Uh, the one that I really, really liked and enjoyed um, was a, a demo on the floor for, to show people how to use. Um, and he, the um, Lisa's son who works, Lisa's the owner of Primitive, Primitive Gatherings, her son works in the Bernina shop sewing machine selling portion of the store. <laughs> He said, I can probably get you a deal on the demo on the floor. So I said, okay, let me think and I'll call you back. So I called him back like a week later. Yep, you can have it. And it's a pretty good deal. So I'm 85% sure I'm going to be getting that sewing machine. And here's one of the first things I'm going to do. <laughs> well, I mean, this you can hand stitch too, but... It's just a little wool um, applique project with a little bit of embroidery. I thought it was extremely cute. They had the model, of course, sucked me in. This is just a little pin pillow with a fawn. And then I just got a pattern because they didn't have any kits of this mini scrappy pouch. But I thought as a first um, little quilting project with my new sewing machine, if I, if when I get that. Um, and it's an eight and a half by ten, so little project bag. So that was my birthday haul. Birthday. I get to buy on my birthday. All right. The only thing I have left after that is just a little bit of yarny goodness. Yarny goodness, you guys. For goodness sakes, it's yarn. Again, farmer's daughter fibers. I don't think I'll ever quit them. This was the January um, sock club. And really, as I build a collection, I can use different colorways that I get from them in a faded sweater. Um, I've already started looking and mixing and matching some that I would like together. And these minis do great for stripes or heels, toes, socks. Not that I'm a huge sock knitter, but I really got to get back more back into knitting and crochet. I'm starting to miss it. I want to do a crochet blanket. I don't know why. They do a lot with indigenous, indigenous Native Americans. So I highly recommend them. The other yarny goodness I'm going to show you. Oh, maybe that too. Um, oh, and then one more thing. Holy cow. Um, always be kind yarn. Oh, shoot. What's her name? And I had it hanging on my bulletin board before it fell down. And then I had to pick it up. Laura. Laura, always be kind yarn. She is a big um, advocate for suicide prevention and even she even dies schemes where the profits go to suicide prevention um, causes, advocacy groups. Um, she lost a daughter to suicide, and she is a fabulous, wonderful human being who dies. I've showed it before. Um, really awesome yarn. So I ordered some needle stoppers from her because I needed some, and I like to support her as much as I can. So love is love. Sloths. And, of course, be kind. Be a good human. Be kind. At Christmas-ish time, I don't know what came over me, you know, I was just browsing on the Jeff Bezos on the Amazon, and I thought, to my, and then, you know, they target advertised, they know, um, an embroidery kit came up, a beginner's embroidery with video tutorials and instructions, and mushrooms, <laughs> so, you know, mushrooms. So I'm going to play with this a little bit. I don't know when. I don't know why. I don't know. Well, I do know why. 
Um, when is the bigger question, but when the mood strikes me, cacti. I just thought it was really cool, and then this must be like your advanced project when you're done with all the tutorials, then you get to put these flowers together, and I think that is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it comes with hoops and thread and fabric and printed fabric um, to show you where you're going and what you're doing. Like, look at that, it's still in the package, but why not? Why not? You never know until you try. I used to let all my kids do, like, we used to let them do everything, like, dance, soccer, basketball, swimming, you, you name it, when they were little. And then as they got older, and we were traveling across the state of Wisconsin and into other states all week, every week, um, we said choose, you know, narrow it down. But when, but you never know what you like unless you try it, right? So I might love embroidery. I got threads. <laughs> I got I got the threads, so I wouldn't have to buy those. Oh, yeah, yarn. One other yarn. Which this I probably should knit a blanket. Was what or a blanket. Maybe a small like a lap blanket. I think I totally have enough. Knitting Nakabi. N Q U A B I. I will have her down below so you can go to Instagram. You yarny, you yarny peeps. She does naturally dyed yarn. So she uses plants um, and natural substances to dye her yarn. And I don't, she, how she accomplishes it, she does a fabulous job. She had an advent this year called the Endangered Species Advent Calendar. Her advents run um the entire month of december so it's really more of a countdown box instead of an advent box so december 1st through the 31st 31 days every day you got this book and she says read first and then she gives you the instructions endangered species 2023 advent box really a countdown um begins on Friday, December 1st, it goes through the 31st, so that located in this album will be all the colorway information for each day. Flip each card number over on, a spec on the specified day to reveal the animal of inspiration for each colorway. Please note, two cards are in each pocket to avoid spoilers, do not peek. I waited to open half of this till like the beginning of January, so I wasn't peeking at anything. So for example, day one was the sea turtle, which is endangered. Well, we all know that. Biggest threat, oil spills and marine pollution. Stop it. And I mixed these all up, so I'm going to guess which one was a sea turtle, but I believe it was this one. So that is the colorway that she naturally dyed that matches the sea turtle. So I just want to grab some out and show you guys how wonderful these colors are. I'm just going to grab, literally going to grab. Not all of them are variegated. Some of them are solids. Some of them are very slightly variegated. But look. And then on the 31st, not only did I get an entire full skein of black, which represented the black rhino, which we all know, they don't even exist anymore, right? Critically endangered. 6,000. Poaching. Jimmy John. The owner of Jimmy John's. He shot a black rhino. Did you guys know that? Yeah. Now you know. Oh, anger. Anger. Black rhino. So this represented the black rhino. She also had like a pound of black rhino coffee that also supported um, endangered species and protecting black rhinos. So I could do a striped, I don't know, cardigan, blanket, schlanket, 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 big shawl slash blanket, but it's wonderful, it's super soft, um, she is a, also practices philanthropy, um, care about the earth, 
and about humans. So that was fun. I will support knitting to Cabby. And so should you. And then she sent this bag, a friend sheep bag. Um, and it says, keep the seas plastic free on the back. So right up my alley. Right up there. And that, my friends, is all I have for you today. And I think that is enough. You're not going to see much haul except for my subscriptions in, you know, the months to come if I can behave. So, as always, thank you. Please like and subscribe. I'm inching ever closer to 500, 500 people. Um, and I will have something to share at that point. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you, all of you. I don't know how YouTube algorithms work, but, you know, I guess the more people like and subscribe, the more you get shown so you can share with even more friends. Um, I appreciate this community so much. I've made such wonderful connections with so many awesome people and um, some of my, who I call my very, um, very, very good friends, you know, that we like message almost every day. Like, so again, thank you. Like, subscribe. All right. Be safe. Be kind. I love you. Peace.